evaluate the integration of 1 over square root of x squared plus a squared. Okay. Yeah. I want again a 1 here uh, so that I can do a trig substitution. So this is equal to integration of 1 over square root of. I'm going to divide both by a squared. So this is x squared over a squared plus a squared over a squared. So when you are put dividing by a squared inside the radical, inside the radical, what you're doing is you are dividing by 1, 1 over a. That means you're multiplying by a. That means you have to divide by a. So this is nothing but 1 over a times integration of 1 over square root of this is x squared over a squared plus 1. Or this is 1 plus x squared over a squared. Now this helps me to do a trick substitution of, uh, let me use a different color. So let uh, x squared over a squared is equal to 10 squared theta. This implies x over a is 10 theta which implies theta is tan inverse of x over a. So we'll use this later on, so let us put this aside. So this again implies, can I say x is equal to a tan theta. I'm differentiating both sides with respect to theta, so dx by d theta is equal to a sec squared theta. Differentiation of sec theta is, uh, sorry, differentiation of tan theta is sec squared theta. So this is sec squared theta, which implies dx is a sec squared theta d theta. So in place of dx, I can put a sec squared theta, and in place of x squared over a squared, I can put tan squared theta. So this, I'm going to rewrite, therefore, this implies a 1 over a integration of 1 over square root of, this I'm going to write as 1 plus x squared over a squared, becomes 1 over a times integration of 1 over square root of 1 plus tan squared theta times dx is nothing but, this is times a sec squared theta d theta. Okay, so this becomes 1 over a times integration of 1 over, this is 1 plus tan squared is 6 squared and square root of 6 squared is nothing but sec theta times a sec squared theta d theta. So this a and this a gets cancelled and the sec theta and one of the sec theta will get, get cancelled. So this is equal to uh, integration of sec theta d theta. Now there is no formula for integration of sec theta. So here we have to do uh, a step which is not very intuitive, but uh, you'll understand the step later on. So what I'm going to do is, this is integration of sec theta. I'm going to multiply by sec theta plus tan theta with both the numerator and the denominator. Now this is not very clear at this step. I can understand that but I'll explain this later on. So basically, you are multiplying the numerator and denominator by sec theta plus tan theta. So this becomes integration of expanding the numerator. This is sec squared theta plus sec theta tan theta over sec theta plus tan theta. Now, if you know the differentiation of sec theta, the differentiation of sec theta is sec theta tan theta, and the differentiation of tan theta is sec squared theta, and that's the reason I have multiplied. 
so you can directly use a rule but I'm again going to do a substitution so let m be equal to sec theta plus tan theta this implies again differentiating with respect to theta dm by d theta is the uh, differentiation of sec theta is sec theta times tan theta plus differentiation of tan theta is sec squared theta so this implies dm is nothing but sec theta tan theta plus sec squared theta d theta d theta okay so here in place of this whole thing the numerator i can put dm and in place of denominator i can write m so i'll write you i'll use it here so this becomes integration of 1 over m dm okay and that's this there's also a rule which says that uh, you can directly write natural log of m plus c okay now what is m m is uh, sec theta plus tan theta so integration so let us go back so integration of sec theta d theta is nothing but natural log of m where m is sec theta plus tan theta so this is also uh, a good uh, formula to remember that integration of sec theta is natural log of sec theta plus tan theta plus the constant of integration but we want to write in terms of x so what can we do so this is nothing but this can be the answer but uh, let us write this in terms of x and a because we started with x and a so sec theta i'm writing as sec theta uh, so tan theta i'm writing as tan theta uh, and sec theta i can write as square root of 1 plus tan squared theta plus c okay so this is natural log of what is tan of x tan x is x over a okay so in place of tan x or tan theta i can put x over a plus square root of 1 plus x squared over a squared plus c this is nothing but natural log of x over a plus square root of the simplifying this this is nothing but a squared plus x squared over a plus c we almost there so this is natural log of uh, natural log of x plus square root of a squared plus x squared over a plus c this is nothing but natural log of x plus root of a squared plus x squared a squared plus x squared minus natural log of a plus c and this is finally so final answer is natural log of x plus square root of a squared plus x squared and uh, and now this is a constant and this is also a constant so we'll write a new constant which is c dash where c dash or c1 whatever you write is nothing but c minus natural log of a therefore we can say let us finish off integration of 1 over square root of x squared plus a squared x squared plus a squared dx is equal to natural log of x plus square root of this is x squared uh, a squared plus x squared plus c prime or c dash where c dash is equal to c minus natural log of a